Introduction What is Qar Al Hasan? Islam allows loan as a form of social service among the rich to help the poor and those who are in need of financial assistance. Loan in Islam may be obtained in two ways, which are by loan with condition of repayment and gratuitous loan without any compensation or gift. Mr. Izzat is a young entrepreneur that had running a business for about 4 years. He had been doing a business in selling organic vegetables and local fruits in a market in Malaysia. His business became a source of sustenance for him and his family. However, due to financial crisis with his business, the business started to flatten off. Later on, he found a solution for his problem. While scrolling on the official website for Islamic Bank, Mr. Izzat unexpectedly had seen a page about a financial assistance from an organization. On the website, it was about Kar Al Hassan. In Islam, the principle of Kar Al Hassan is a mechanism for welfare and not for purpose of business transaction. It is a loan that is free from usury and given to charitable costs. How Qad Al Hassan works? First, the creditor which was called as concrete will offer his asset or property as a loan to the debtor which is Muqtari. Ijab and Pobol must be clearly made before entering into loan contract. The debtor is only required to repay the amount borrowed. The court was offered to Rural Bumi Putra Entrepreneur via fund allocated by the Ministry of Rural Development, which is KPLP, to increase their economic well-being. The loan registration on the capacity of enterprise, PTE limited, or limited liability partnership only. The business owner must be 18 years old at the time of financing registration and up to 16 years old at the maturity period. The applicant business must be in operation for over one year. For the loan tenure, it is minimum 3 years and up to maximum 7 years, while for the grace period, it is up to 4 to 6 months. The loan purpose can be made on working capital, machine equipment, and upgrading business premise. The loan limit is up to 250,000 ringgit national considered based on KPLP approval. Government can grant 30% from the loan principal. This loan scheme services based on Kar Al Hassan is already widely used by many institutions and agencies in Malaysia as initiative to help poverty alleviation and help improving the living conditions of people who are already poor and incompetent. The agencies that offer this loan scheme based on Kar Al Hassan, including Amanah Ikhtiar Malaysia, which already introduced many types of loans such as Ikhtiar Loan Scheme 1, Ikhtiar Loan Scheme 2, Ikhtiar Loan Scheme 3, Single Mother Loan Scheme and many more. Then, Kementerian Pembangunan Usahawan dan Koperasi MECD, Bank Kerjasama Rakyat Malaysia Berhad and Agro Bank Malaysia in which they offer many types of loan scheme to the entrepreneurs especially to the one who is planning to start the business in order to help the youngsters to achieve their plan. Based on the schemes provided by these banks and government, these entrepreneurs can choose any of the scheme loans that fit with their requirements or if they want to choose loan schemes that are pertaining to Sharia law. So, what is the relationship between the Qur'an al Hasan with economic impact and wealth creation? Qur'an al Hasan serves as an initiative to ease the burden of those in need and experiencing the financial crisis because it is an interest-free loan that prioritizes well-being and social justice. 
the poor can get easier access to financial services at a relatively low cost. If Kordu Al Hassan, along with Wakaf and Zakat, is practiced effectively by Islamic financial institutions. In particular, Kordu Al Hassan can be expanded to support the needs of the poor, as they are not willing to take funds for investment and they need to meet their immediate basic needs. Based on the video shown before, <laughs> Mr. Izzat had success in business while getting help from agency that implied Carl Al Hassan. We can see that Mr. Izzat business had continued to grow and rose from the financial crisis. a fund under Kordu Al Hassan through this platform. In proposing his project, he must provide details, including the benefit of this project to a society, the amount needed and the most important, the schedule for repayment. On top of that, he must make sure his business in Sharia compliance. The platform acts as Wakil, which is agent on behalf of finders to deal with the entrepreneur in reviewing the proposal of the project and its suitability. This includes from perspective of Sharia, in which a special committee will ensure that the proposal applied by the entrepreneurs complies with Sharia rulings. If the proposal is accepted, the platform will launch the campaign. Because of Wakalah contract, the platform called Charge Ujra, which is fees paid using a part of the fund contributed by the funders. The platform begins to channel the money. Nevertheless, the entrepreneur is obligated under Wa'an, which is promised contract, to repay the loan without imposing any interest to the platform within a certain time frame. The contract will be incorporated with Kafala, which is guaranteed to ensure that the entrepreneur repay the loan at a given time. After a period of time, the entrepreneur will pay the amount in lump sum or installment. Every repayment is affordable depending on the agreement. Cordu Al Hassan is 